Happy Odin's Day. Happy New Room Day. So this week I've been working with Ansu's and I'm going to go through some of the basics as we have from the Rune Poems, another source book. Talk about some experience I've had this week while connected to Ansu's and then obviously talk about the Rune I'll be working with this week. So as usual, I'm going to read out the translations uh, as they appear in Swain Plowright's The Rune Primer. Uh, so the old English rune poem, Os, deity mouth, is the origin of every language. Wisdom's support and counsellor's consolation, and to any warrior, gladness and confidence. For the old Icelandic is as God is progenitor and Asgard's chief and Valhall's leader. Referring to Odin, of course. And finally, for the old Norwegian, Os Estuary is the way for most on journeys, and the scabbard is the swords. kind of interesting. Now, Arnsus is directly um, equated to a god. In this case, Odin. This is the one of the runes that is particularly associated with the Allfather. Um, really, most, as we find with all the poems, most of what, say, the other books uh, break down the connections are from the sentences in these poems. Um, I think that kind of explains it, really. I mean, let, let's sort of go across to the Lisa Chamberlain book just to sort of pick out its key words. So, a god, ancestral god, sometimes interpreted as Odin. I mean, it's pretty direct. Communication, wisdom, divine power, a message. Now, for my experiences this week, um, really last night I had one of those experiences where it was just like, oh, okay, here we go. Um, it wasn't, in essence, a good experience, um, tacking on from something that happened at the weekend. And it's one of those situations where you have to be careful of not drawing too much negative power to yourself. Um, in some of my other videos, I've explained how really negative power really fits into sort of a description or possibility for what the Jotnar represent. Now, obviously common translations for the Jotun, the Jotnar, are frost giants. Um, the actual translation means devourers or great devourers. And it is my theory, and you don't have to go along with this, the Jotnar, dark negative energy needs to feed off things and it seems very much in this present socio climate we have there is a lot of negative emotion the Jotnar are feeding massively a lot of people are un 
protected. They're vulnerable to negative emotion. And obviously this is something that once you're caught in its grip, it feeds itself. It draws you in deeper and darker and it's harder to break out. And so the great devourer or the great devouring spirit will continue to devour what you are giving to it because you become a battery of negative energy. It's good when you can recognise it. And even better when you can see it coming. And if you prepare your defences, your personal sort of defences, whether you want to call it magic or psychic or spiritual, your power... If you can defend yourself from it, then you can repel it and you will be better for it. Now, last night in this instance, and it's always a good wake up call. It's not one of those things where it's just that sort of, I can't believe I allowed myself to become vulnerable to this when I can recognize it and talk about it. I am but a man and... There are reasons that, 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 you know, sometimes it makes you consider need to refresh defences, not rest on your laurels, keep active and be aware that sort of at times these negative energies might test your defence. They might slip through and in this instance at the weekend, I think certainly a negative energy sort of slipped through, I slipped up, nothing dreadful, just in a great extent, it's more a case of I allowed myself to be vulnerable. But I turned that around last night when I felt this negative energy come in and I was able to confront it and repel it and this is where Ansu's comes in for personal reflection that it can give you confidence that if you are prepared if you can recognise it confront it you can deal with it and this negative energy has been dealt with for now, as far as I can tell. Um, it's certainly one of those things where, you know, I say, it slipped between my guard, underneath my guard, got at me to an extent until I was able to realise and, you know, deal with it. It came back I and mean, had a nom nom nom. But sensing it returning, I was able to stop it, confront it, and it left. And now I can sort of recognise and acknowledge that once I've finished making this video and sort of open myself up and disconnect from answers and connect to the new moon, I can refresh my personal aura and defences and go about my business i mean it is interesting what the next rune is and sort of taking into account how negative energies can sort of enjoy your darkness that's like the dark side of rado which is the next rune um so it's been, I suppose, an interesting week just by those things and it's up to me to deal with them and other layers of why these things have happened. And I will do. Um, 
It's not the first time something's either prodded at the family defence or, or at me. It probably probably won't be the last either. I do remember sort of flashing images at the confronting it and feeling at that moment that the connection to Ansu's was strong and was uh, uh, appar an apparition of the rune as a, as, a, as a point of wisdom in doing the right thing. Anyway, that aside, we're now, as we come to it, this week I will be connecting to Rado um, and we'll see what happens. Obviously, I don't know if anything else will happen. That's what we'll wait and see. That's why I do these videos and, and sort of sometimes they're almost like a diary of my path of power. Uh, and it can either be something that you find relatable or that you can question and, and, and analyse in an alternate way. I will be doing that myself. It's that sort of... Well, it was my subconscious telling me something. Well, I can't really say that my subconscious was telling me something when I was in a state of consciousness which is something I'm, I'm quite uh, acute to as a lucid dreamer. That's enough for now. I am grateful for Ansu's and its connection and wish you all well. Say so these things can happen. It's important to practice, practice safely. Um, and accept your responsibilities for how you practice. Do take care, and I'll see you in a, another video soon. Goodbye.